lot of flavor. That blue makes you want to dance, right? Cheers. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? David Elder for a new episode of Elder Eats, and we're out here today at SeaWorld for their Seven Seas Food Festival. We're going to be highlighting different regions from around the world, and with me today, kind of guide us through that, is Chuck Crow. <laughs> now, Chuck, I mean, you have this guide right here in your hand, but tell me a little bit about it. Well, Seven Seas Food Festival takes you around the world. I mean, we have all these different locations that you can go to. We've got Spain, we've got Hawaii, we've got Japan, Jamaica, Ooh. Greece, Italy, Mexico, you name it, we've got it here. Right it's here. A, yeah, right here at SeaWorld. Uh, and, and all you have to do is just come on in, yeah. we'll give you an event guide. Oh, there you go. You can purchase some lanyards that you can actually sample the food with. You get a oh. punch on that right there, so we'll okay. put that on right there. Let's there put we go. that over here. Yeah, there we go. Got that going, don't mess like up my that crown. hair. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't touch don't the hair. Don't mess up the hair, it's sharp, it'll hurt you. Yeah, that's Anyway, so you got that, and you got an appetite. I know you got an appetite. Right? I got an appetite. Well, I'm super excited, because we're going to be going all around SeaWorld today, checking out all the delicious food that they have for the food festival. I mean, and this is something that you can do with the family until when? Absolutely. It's uh, weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until May 27th. Come on out. Eat to your heart's content. We've got entertainment, and of course, we've got all the great things that SeaWorld has to it's offer. It's SeaWorld. Yeah, it's at SeaWorld. the end of the day, right? You're at SeaWorld, so it's great food, a lot of entertainment, fun for the whole family. And we're going to start first at Hawaii. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Aloha, we're out here at the Hawaiian section. And with me right now is Scott Ronkowski. You're the executive chef out here at SeaWorld. What do we have here? This is all Hawaiian food. Well, this is all Hawaiian. So we got Hawaii here last year. We had to import it in from in the San Antonio. So it's <laughs> one of the, the only Hawaiian restaurants here uh -huh. in town. We've got a sticky rib, Hawaiian sticky rib with, uh, it's got uh, key cap manis inside there, which is a sticky soy. Uh, it's actually got mustard and mint in there. And it's got my name on it. It's got your name all <laughs> over it. Oh. Not good. It's good, right? Super salty. Delicious texture on there. Mmm. That's exactly what you want. It's savory. And you feel like you've traveled, right, to Hawaii. Yes, sir. I get a lot of people that actually go to Hawaii, been from Hawaii, or been to Hawaii, mm. come here from Hawaii, and they give me kudos because it's the real deal. Wow. We got a tuna poke. This one's a ginger hibiscus daikon. This is a pickled daikon. This is a pickled ginger. Wakame salad, which is a seaweed salad. Kind of working around tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, jalapeno, edamame. And then when you get to the star of the show, it's going to be a yellowfin tuna. We lightly marinate it, and then we put some masaga, which is a flying fish roll on top of it. It's just make that color pop. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Thank you. This looks really good. A little sweet, a little salty. It's a fantastic blend of everything that you would want. And then you also have, is there a little bit of soy in there as well? A little bit of soy over there. Yeah. There's soy, a little bit See, of... that's where that salty kick's coming soy, from too. Soy, sesame. Wow, and that, that spice from the jalapeno. It, it gets it. it no, and nothing takes over anything. Yeah. Either. We have other places we're going to be traveling to right now. I believe we're going to be heading to Brazil. Exactly. What should we look forward to Brazil? Well, we got at Brazil, we have uh, a choropan sandwich with a Brazilian sausage. We also have a Brazilian street food, Baru. It's a roast beef sandwich, tomato pickle, melted mozzarella. I've got Brazilian cheese bread over you there. You sold me on yeah, that one. Yeah, we, we've got Let's this. go check it out. Let's go check out Brazil. Come on. <laughs> Let's go do it. You have the bossa nova playing in the background, right? You kind of set the mood. And a part of that also is all the delicious food that you have here. All different kinds of empanadas. You have two little sandwiches. I mean, Brazilian cheese balls. Brazilian cheese balls. And then now this is the frozen acai blackberries. Yes, sir. Now talk to me about that. We get a sorbet. It's an acai sorbet. Acai is kind of, it's a little bit bitter, so I wanted to pair it up with something a little bit different texture. So uh -huh. I opted to go with a frozen blackberry. Nice. So texture, the crunch, you won't taste that little seed of the blackberry inside of there. Uh, it'll it'll kind of explode in your mouth. Oh my goodness. Something a little different. So when we're out here on a hot day, you got a little sorbet, you That's got frozen fantastic. blackberries. As it sits, it gets prettier. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you look at it, it's just... That's like me, as I said, it's pretty. <laughs> you got a baru, which yeah. is a Brazilian street food. It's just a very common sandwich inside of medium rare roast beef, pickles, tomato, melted mozzarella, because we melt it just before we give it to you on a nice crusty roll. Hey, I'm just going to... Is there, there like, we go. need to get like a And car. then you're going to have to line yeah. it up your arms like it's going to be the hot dogs going on there, but this is going to be Brazilian food. This is all delicious. I'm going to keep this with me as we travel on, but let's go head on over to our other destination. Now. Let's do this. Let's do it. All 
right, chef. So now we're out here at a very familiar section that everybody would know here in San Antonio. It's the Gulf of Mexico. It's Mexican food, a little bit of Cuban food a bit dashed of Cuban in, there in there as well. And so talk to me, what do we have right here in front of us? So in front of us, we got three artisan street tacos here. Ooh. So as you mentioned, we got a little Cuban splash in here. We've got bulgogi, uh -huh. which is a, a prime rib that we shave down and we get marinated real quickly in the, the bulgogi marinade. Go figure. Which is actually Korean. Yes. So you're, you're infusing that Korean food. We are, yeah. we are infusing the Korean. Little purple cabbage, green cabbage, uh, cucumbers on there. When you come over here, everybody does barbacoa, but I'm doing a braised beef. There you go. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to one up, one up <laughs> and, and stay ahead of the curve. I want to be cool go. before cool is cool. Then we got a, a chicken verde uh -huh. with a ancho, and I dubbed it the hyphen pepper sauce because it's got multiple different peppers in there. Yeah. It's not super hot. You'll taste the ancho. You'll taste a little, little, little heat inside of there. Yeah. But pickled red onion and then uh, queso fresco in there. Chicharrones that we're making here. So if you order chicharrones, we fry them right up. Frying them fresh right there. Frying them fresh. Nice. Sopapillas for dessert when you get in there. And those are fun. Those are like little mini sopapillas, they right? So you can, yeah, you can kind of like little, little bite size. Little them. minis and you can share them. So <laughs> yeah. the whole theme of this so we can share our food. And then we got our Cuban. We got our mojo pork, yep. black beans, rice, and Cuban red. And that's how you so, do it. That's how you do that's it right. That's how we do now, it. Now I brought you a fork. So and There's I'm gonna, napkin somewhere. I don't know where they're at. We'll find them later. I gotta try this one. This is the braised, braised beef. beef serrano radish yeah. pickled red onion. I make the pickled red onions here. We got a little secret that we do to our, our tortillas that I'm not gonna tell anybody because I made it by mistake a couple years back, and it has to do with that griddle and it has to do with my oil. That's wrong. Uh huh. <laughs> that delicious. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And you can get a street taco here anywhere, but I try to get it mm. so you got layers of flavors. You got the braised beef. You got the cheese, the pickled red onions for the acidic, the crunch from the radish, then you got the serrano to raise the heat, and micro cilantro over the top. And that serrano, jalapeno is Scoville level. It's, a little bit right here. Yeah. Serrano's, you're stepping it up to that next you're, level. Yeah, you're going to the next level. That is absolutely delicious. You guys have really captured what it means to have this kind of food here. And especially when you come out to SeaWorld, right, you're thinking it's going to be theme park food. It's not theme park. All this food has been phenomenal. Coming up, we're out here at SeaWorld right now. I'm making a mess with the delicious food. It's fantastic. We got Chef Ronkowski's with me right now. So stay right here on Elder Eats. We're enjoying the seven seas right here over at SeaWorld. Mm. Come on, I'm going to eat all that though. Here you go, you go ahead. Out here now, we're in France. We're in France. We're in France, and you have all the different crepes out here. They're gonna have you saying holy crepe when you look at all of them because you guys got a lot of them. There's a lot of crepe going and on. And you here. have a, a wonderful croissant right here. But tell me a little bit, I mean, because this is savory, it's sweet, it's a little bit of everything for everyone, right? So visualize we're in France. We're walking down the street. Okay. It's four o'clock. Do we want sweet? Do we want savory? Let's go for all of them. Let's go for all of them. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> he said this is the Monte Cristo. A lot of handwork went into that one, so. You got the jam in there. You have all that delicious ham, the cheeses, everything blended in there together. The texture is phenomenal. And you can tell, look, this is quality ingredients. Yes. That food makes you want to dance, right? That is delicious. Chef, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one here. I'll use Creme brulee. Yeah. <laughs> I'll use a fork. I, I recommend a fork. Yeah, join on me one. on this one. So we're gonna go all in on. Oh my goodness. Creme brulee. Nice and hot. You'll get little crackers. Got it. There we go. Cheers. 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 There you go. Sugar crackles. That was. It's good. Who's making a creme brulee? Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everything in there is fantastic. This is what you want when you think dessert. And and every aspect of it. It's got the, the nice cream inside of there, the, the custard, and then you have all the little cracklings, like you said, powdered sugar, and the delicious crepe on the outside. You guys have brought France to San Antonio. Boom. I'm taking this one with me. And we're walking. Now where we're going. Well, let's go to Italy. What do you think? Let's, let's go to Italy. Let's a little jump over the bottom. Yeah, let's there. do it. Yeah. Yes, now we have little flatbread pizzas in front of you because we are in Italy. We'll just a hop over the pond. <laughs> That's right. Just a little walk over, a little hop over the pond. Now, you have right here is like quintessential food when you think of Italian food, right? I mean, I see like the basil, you have tomatoes, you have the cheese, 
You got a meatball on, on a sandwich right there. So talk to me about it. What are we looking at? So we got our meatball slider. It's about a three ounce meatball. It's pork. It's got different types of cheese and slider. We make them fresh daily here. Ooh. We bake this bread on property. It's a sweet, yeasty, grana padana cheese underneath and an Italian red gravy. The Italian red gravy has five ingredients. None of them are salt. None of them are pepper. I'm gonna, uh, you keep talking about the other food. I'm going to take a bite out of this. So then one. we got our flatbread pizzas that are here. We got our churrasco style. It's got arugula. It's got skirt steak that's been marinated and grilled, medium rare. Uh, Asiago cheese, uh, chimichurri. We got a chicken margarita pizza. That's pretty good, right? Which uh, fresh mozzarella, chef, chicken. Chef. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kind of staying over here and just doing my thing. Oh, that meatball. That is phenomenal. It tastes the ricotta. Yeah. It's got the pork. It's got the beef. It's got everything going it's on. It's incredibly so, tender. Yes. But then, it has a nice little sear on the outside. A little, little bit of the sear, then the grana padana cheese, and then mm. the five ingredients, Italian red gravy. It's got olive oil, red onions, garlic, tomato, and basil. That's it. Walk away. We puree it. Great job, chef. Shrimp with uh, feta cheese and nice. some roasted red pepper. Blend. Then you got your media Italian. It's a uh, mozzarella provolone. It's got prosciutto. It's got uncured pepperoni. It's got a spicy Italian sausage. And we've also got some sun-dried tomatoes. And you know what I love about this? It becomes Mexico. You had a little taco. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now we're creating things. Coming up, we continue our adventure through the Seven Seas Food Festival as we journey over to Greece, Japan, and Jamaica. So don't go anywhere. Elder Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Elder Eats. And now we're back out here at SeaWorld. It is the Seven Seas Food Festival. And with me is Chef Ronkowski. Now, Chef, you have delicious food here. And now we're in Greece, right? We're in Greece now. And my favorite part about Greek food, of course, is going to be, you have the gyro right there. But got you have it. a lot of different options on here. So tell me what you got on this spread. So we've got a lamb burger. Mm -hmm. Our lamb burgers with a spicy feta mixed greens, and we bake a fresh yeast roll daily here, so Feta. just a really good little burger. Traditional gyro, yeah. just the way you'd expect to get it, tzatziki sauce, tomato, nice. a little bit of red onion. you got the shawarma with skug sauce, it's a spicy cilantro sauce, uh -huh. and a little bit of tzatziki. What inspires you? What, what do you go, have you actually like traveled to all these places to get these ideas? I haven't traveled to all of them, but I do a lot of research per se. I've been doing this for 25 years. Wow. And in doing this 25 years, we didn't have the phones back then. Yeah. So we actually had to learn from the people like the Julia Childs, the Justin Wilson, all those those fun <laughs> old... You go, you go, you go, yes. <laughs> but I used to come home, my brother would watch Scooby-Doo, I'd come home and I'd watch cooking shows. So great chefs of the north, south, east, and west. There's there's just so many of them that inspired me to pay attention to the flavors as I'm cooking it. Plus my mom didn't come home until 5.30, so I, had, I was hungry. Yeah, time. Eat. Yeah, you gotta eat. <laughs> now, what I've seen too, I mean, of course, people are here at the park because it's SeaWorld. You have a lot of great entertainment. You have great shows to go through here. You have all the animals, the, the park, the rides. But there's a lot of people here that are just enjoying the food, too. Yes. So this itself has become its own attraction. Yes. Yeah. And people seek it out. So this is our fifth year doing it. And we've got a lot of foodies that come through here. And as these foodies are coming through, they're expecting new things. So first year was 35. Then I went to 40. Then the 50. Yeah. Now I'm at 63 plus items on here. So, And this <laughs> is all in addition to the normal park operation. Right. So. I'm going to eat this one right here as we're going along but where are we going next well let's uh let's go to japan <laughs> why not <laughs> so we just got out of greece and now we're here at the pacific ocean in japan and now you actually have in korean ribs on here as well that's a little mix of everything right it's a little mix of everything as you tour the seven seas we wanted to have a little bit of opportunity to do different things so. yeah so they might you, not get yeah. along, but they get along here. So <laughs> so what do you have here? This is uh, a blend of, of Japanese cuisine, right? So there's a couple takes on here. We got yeah. the yakisoba. We have a chicken yakisoba, Ooh. and we have a jackfruit yakisoba. And explain jackfruit for people. Jackfruit's the large fruit that's about this big, that right. wide. It's uh, kind of prickly on the outside, and you take it apart, and the meat becomes like this net neutral, take on anything type and of flavor. And it kind of tastes like chicken, right? Yeah, it has the texture, it, it has of, chicken. The texture of chicken, but it's, it's grown on a tree. There you go. And now this is a, a, a bowl of peppers as one would say but what do you what would you what is this these are shishito peppers yeah. and they're blistered shishito peppers Ooh. we take them a little bit of oil we get them we, as soon as they blister we'll hit them with a little bit of garlic uh, some lemon and then we top it with ahi nori for a cocky one in ten might have the heat of a low <laughs> low range jalapeno one in ten well, low range jalapeno i've yet right. to get one stay tuned as we come back from elder eats we're going to go try some different areas from around the world and uh, you'll find out if this pepper really burned my mouth or not cheers
All right, you guys, well now we have to say goodbye, but it has been a blast out here at SeaWorld. Of course, it's the Seven Seas Food Festival, and it's happening now until May 27th, so you gotta make sure you come on out here, check out all the exciting rides, all the entertainment. The new Turtle Reef exhibit is amazing. You can see some pictures of me right there. I snapped for myself. There's a lot of fun out here, and the food is absolutely delicious. And of course, what you said earlier, we didn't really have a lot of time to talk about the alcohol portion of it all, but for the adults out there that want to enjoy themselves as well, you have a lot of drinks to choose from. Over 100 flavors. Over 100 flavors. Yes, sir. And now we got this is a Jamaican walking pie. This is a Jamaican walking patty, <laughs> and we can walk on out of here. There you go. Check them out. Information's on the screen. Chef, you rock. All these authentic flavors are here waiting for you to come and have fun and explore. But let's get walking with them. Let's there we it. go. Let's keep exploring. I'm going to go on one of these rides.